Strongest and weakest element. It sounds like I'm repeating myself, but I think the quality of case narrative can still improve a lot, to say the least. Uh, I think some great campaigns. Otherwise, personally, having you know, being a marketer, having known how good those campaigns were or how great their impact on the business was, uh, it was a disappointment to look at the way the cases were written. So we still struggle in storytelling. It's vi visible in our ads, in the quality of storytelling we do there and it's also visible in the narratives we write. And I think it's about time that uh, marketeers start investing both time, energy, and at times expertise if they have to outsource that uh, to get good case uh, narratives written. Because frankly, a product today is as good as the packaging. So you've got a great product in the form of a great marketing initiative, but you've not invested behind its packaging. You've not really put your heart into it. And sometimes, even gives us the impression that perhaps the youngest member of the team without any supervision has ended up writing the case. And even from reputed names, uh, major <coughs> basic marketing fundamental blunders uh, are visible and frankly, you know, it leaves a bad taste. So get that done. As far as the strongest element is concerned, I think uh, most of the campaigns we see now as cases have sourcing for the results which is a big leap forward. There was a time where 90% of the cases we used to see used to say internal sales data, yeah, internal company data as the only source and we are supposed to take their word for it. From there to actually looking at demographics, looking at open uh, source uh, or, or free for all researches as well as paid or uh, proprietary researches from their own global network agencies or their local tools or brand health tracking for that matter or investing in retail audits that's visible. So I think that's the most st strongest element over there. Result reporting has dramatically improved.